Hi and welcome to another episode of Channel Mum Meets. I'm Charlie, I'm just in my house, bustling around, getting ready to go and pop over to Kate Thornton's house. Kate is a TV presenter, a radio presenter, and she also is the founder of shopping website To Be Seen. So I'm gonna take my 12 week old Luna, and we're gonna go over, have a cup of tea, and talk about all things motherhood. So we are in Kate's house, and um, this is a bonus because I found a babysitter as well. <laughs> I found a baby that I didn't have to give birth to. Everyone's winning. Yeah. This takes me back. Does it? You and I both had premature babies yes. with reflux. Yeah, we've just so. been discussing this because uh, your son Ben, who's now nine. nine, he was five weeks early. Five weeks, but really quite poorly with, with reflux. Yeah. So I feel your pain, and Aww. I am in awe that you are both working and looking not like you're in the middle of a nervous <laughs> breakdown, which is generally where I was at at your stage. Well, yeah, we hide it well. But Kate, I mean, you've, you're you super mum. You've had an amazing career and you, you spin so many plates. How do you do it? Doesn't every mother spin yeah. multiple plates? Uh, I, mean, I know if it all goes tits up, there's a job at the circus, put it that way. <laughs> um, I don't know how to do it. I mean, you know, if I was to put that question back to you, how do you do it? You, you just do. It's just surviving. You get think, out of bed in the morning and you go, today consists of this let's smash it um, and you, you just have to approach everything with you know a bit of tenacity a whole load of work ethic mm. and a massive sense of humour because if you don't it all comes in like a house of cards I look back now at these these early years sorry to point at you Luna mm-hmm. and I think geez how did I do that I mean I was doing Strictly by then right um, and so I did the street, the first Strictly show I did I was pregnant um, and then I, I just, you know, that brilliant naivety you have as a first time mother. You're sat there, kind of, you know, belly out here yeah. going, Oh no, I'll be back at work in no time. Yeah, this will be easy. It's easy. <laughs> and I was. I went back at 10 weeks just to do a, a day and a half shoot for a BBC show wearing two pairs of Spanx. And then I just thought, right, I'm going to have to be that mum that sort of has baby will travel because you know, unfortunately um, I, I parted to company with Ben's dad before his second birthday. Right. Tough. So um, you were doing it by yourself? Yeah, and that, that kind of overwhelming sadness and that yeah. realisation that your, your, your family unit isn't going to be what you wanted it to be. You know, anybody who's doing the single mum gig or the single dad gig um, will know what that, that, that is because yeah. like, nobody sits there and says I know what I want I want to have a baby and then raise that child on not. my own I remember walking out on stage not knowing which city I was in you know head to toe in sequins having you know just set up camp in a, an apartment somewhere in a strange city with a grandparent on standby with you know my bottles in sterilizers yeah uh, hosting a show blinking back tears thinking oh my god I've really screwed this all up um but ultimately everything comes right in the end yeah. you know work you soon realize well actually you know they have to go to school at some point and apparently it's illegal <laughs> if you don't send them so I had to stop traveling yeah and actually that forced hello that forced me then to go, well, I need to change the way I work. So I set up a business. My office is four streets from here that's, and that's two streets from here. Blimey, you just... Poof. Oh, I'm sorry. That's... Luna. Like that smells like a dog one. We don't do that. Oh, man alive. Do you know what it is? I think it's my... T- I'm, I'm vegan at the moment because of her Jeez, reflux. it smells vegetable <laughs> yeah. But it's very... Oh, no, don't worry about that. You stinker. What do you love most about being a mum? He's, you know, he's the keeper of my heart. He teaches me so much. Mm. Um just in his reactions and his responses to things because children are really quite uncynical mm. they've been untainted by life and That's our job it. is to keep them that yeah. way so he just has these really pure responses to people and situations and it, that kind of makes me look at myself sometimes and go yeah, actually, that's that's the right way to play that. Yeah, and also now that he's at a stage where you know he's bringing home lots of homework, he is literally educating me again because really? I'm having to, <laughs> and I'm loving it. Like I've become obsessed with the Romans because oh, really? we've just done <laughs> Romans. So yeah, he is my greatest teacher. He is my greatest love. I always say to him, um, when you were born, it was like you put all the colours in my rainbow. Oh, that's so. And lovely. that is absolutely how I feel. He he's made my world Technicolor. So I, I love him to pieces. Aww. Um are you a Pinterest mum? Do you no, make costumes and things? I am Amazon mum. Yes, I am Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> the last World Book Day my costume didn't turn up. Oh, no. But I, you know and I'm really quite on it with stuff like that normally. And you know it's the morning of World Book Day he's going uh, I'm pulling out you know oh, costumes God, just, like, oh bless you that just don't fit anymore. And in the end, um, I went to the office, used the um, printer there, and printed um, off of the internet uh, a specimen 50 pound note, cut them up, 
sewed them onto a t-shirt. He was billionaire boy. That's genius. It's panic. <laughs> <laughs> like, he went to school with the costumes. Yeah, and he and was happy. Was so uh, tell me about what you're doing now with your business because is that your main focus now? Um, it's it, ultimately, I think, when you run a business, it becomes all encompassing. Mm. Um, so no, it's not all that I do. I still continue to to do my my broadcast work. Yeah. Um, it's an online platform that hosts 600 brands. So all the brands you know, love, and shop. Um, and every time you shop through us, you earn money back through cash back which is amazing so it's money back on the stuff you're already buying like yeah. total no brainer it's fronted by myself uh, Tamsin Althwaite Myling Class Heidi Range Denise Van Outen All Saints uh, my friends that yeah. we've all, all grown up together all busy mums right so. we do these with all our channel mum mates quick buy round granny knickers or g-strings oh g-strings everyone says that I'm, I'm granny knickers all the way uh, celebrity crush um, I mean, George Clooney is always a good default, cause just because, you know, he also looks like he could, like, you know, run the world. Yeah. So, yeah. And he's like a bit of George. Yeah. Kids leftovers, oh. bin them or eat them. I oh, always eat them. Do. <laughs> chocolate or sweets? Chocolate. Yeah, I'm chocolate. Spa day or shopping spree? Spa day. Well, you With do. A bit of shopping. online shopping <laughs> whilst you're horizontal. Exactly. Who says you can't have it all? <laughs> That's true. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, if we'd you love to have you. If you want to leave her, Luma, <laughs> you've been a pleasure. A smelly pleasure. A smelly. Oh, thank you so much for having oh, us. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> She's lovely. Look at Tony. So we really hope you've enjoyed this instalment of Channel Mum Meets with the lovely Kate Thornton. We've got loads more coming out in the next few months. Um, and you can always leave, that is my baby crying in the background. <laughs> uh, you can always leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know who you would like to see on this series. And we'll see you again very soon.